Hey guys, welcome back to another Fly Tying Tuesday with Avid Max. My name is Max, and today we're going to be tying the Holy Hand Grenade. In the vise, we got a FW554 from Arex. This is a size 16, and we got a uh, gunmetal bead in there. This is a 3.0 millimeter. Uh, you're welcome to oversize this bead, um, and I would highly recommend you tie multiple flies with different size beads to match your fishing scenario. Um, so you can play with color, you know, of the bead uh, and size of the hook, obviously. Uh, I really like this in that like 14 to 18 size, just kind of seems fit right as a, a tractor, uh, kind of Euro bug. So start out with some uh, nano silk. This is the 30 denier, uh, still super strong. It's black. It's going to be, everything's going to be covered up by material, so it doesn't really matter what color. Start right behind the bead here, and we're going to build up a little bit of a thread body to secure that bead in place, that slotted bead. And once it's kind of secured, flatten my thread out a little bit just to not build up too much bulk. and work down the shank a little bit, kind of make that taper even. Building up a little bit of a dam. Keep that bead from moving around on you as you're tying. And snip out my tag. Once again, flatten my thread out a little bit. And then we'll give a little bit of a thread body uh, because the nano silk is rather slippery and it's nice to have a little bit of a thread body going down the shank here. So I'm going down to about where the barb is on this on this hook, which I like this hook because it does have a barb and you can pinch it down um, or not depending on your fishing style. Now to kind of make that even taper of the body, I got a couple of strands of my glow bright frost. I actually have three strands and I'm gonna have that on my thread, capture those together in one finger, and then I'm gonna work down the shank, keeping those all pulled together, and working back to where my thread stopped on the shank. I'm gonna secure all that nice and tight in there, cover it up, and now we got a nice tail. So all those will blend together and kind of build up some nice bulk and the fibers will kind of spread apart, giving a nice, nice tail there. So we got some tinsel coming next. So this is gonna be the Vivas in the small size, real nice holographic tinsel. And we're gonna tie this in right along the shank here far side and take it all the way back to my glow bright tail. So got that tied in and now we're going to get in there with some uh, rabbit dub here. This is the natural. I'm going to keep this fairly sparse. And I don't like to use uh, dubbing wax when I'm using this hair because I kind of want them to uh, really be um, buggy and loose. So I'm just going to do a noodle here with building up somewhat of a taker, taper going up towards the bead. So keep adding that on there and spinning it on. My hands are kind of sweaty right now, which kind of helps keep those tight without having to use wax. If you use wax, it really like binds them tight together. And when you brush them out or pick them out, it, it makes it tough um, for them to actually kind of give that buggy material, which kind of like covers up the tinsel. So it's like only showing kind of like bits and pieces of the, the bright uh, tinsel. So a little bit more going up towards the top here. And if you have the peak and you don't have the midge jaws, highly recommended for you know tying nymphs. Um, I like to go back and forth between my regal and my peak when I'm tying small flies. Regal is kind of good for everything, um, but I feel like you have much more control 
and uh, space when you're working with uh, the midge jaws here. So start making my body here and just working the wraps going up towards the bead and finish that. And now I can kind of take a little brush, kind of pluck out some of this and really get those fibers going all which way. And I'll snip out the really long ones, the really th thick, thick hairs. And there we go, we got a nice buggy body there. Now I'm gonna take my tinsel and I'm gonna wrap towards me and make some nice ribbing, nice even ribs. Probably get like three or four wraps in there. This is the 16, so get probably three wraps in there that you'll really see. And then I'll work my thread back a little bit. Snip out my tinsel. And now, instead of doing like a CDC collar uh, with the bugginess of this hair, this hair dub, I'm gonna kind of like make a collar that's gonna kind of cover and, you know, really add a nice like uh, collar that like a CDC would to the fly. So to do that, I'm going to just grab a little clump of this and I'm going to tie it and kind of wrap it around the shank on top and then I'll do the same thing on the bottom side and you know less is always more so put those out and make my little collar here so much like I would work some bruiser blend or you know any kind of like streamer dub kind of building up ahead now kind of doing that with this hairs here's your dub and then it kind of makes a nice buggy look to the fly and I can kind of brush that out. Kind of makes the fly look a little more natural because you're kind of like hiding that tinsel a little bit. So I do just a little bit more on there. Just kind of evenly cover it. And fold it back again. And brushing it and picking it out. I'm pulling some of it out, those longer fibers with my fingers. pluck them out in spots where they might be a little thicker than the other. So there we go. Now we left a little bit of room to build up our collar and the collar is just going to be some ice dub and the peacock black. So grab a small bit of this peacock black, make a little noodle and work that up towards the fly and make my collar here. I'll take a little bit of zap gap, put that on my thread. A little bit of durability and kind of pull that snug and I'll do a quick wood finish and it really kind of sucks down in there and you don't even see the thread so nice nice collar on there snip out my tag 
And then I can kind of clean up some of these loose fibers. Around the collar. And then I'll spit my tail out. Nice little tag tail there. So, you know, in the Euro world, this fly looks like a lot of different bugs, a lot of similarities, um, but unique in its own way. Kind of looks like a blowtorch, uh, but more in like the natural with the hair. So, there you have it. The holy hand grenade. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Of course, like the video and subscribe, and go to avidmax.com for all the materials to tie this fly.